the race for the Bayasa State Government House. It's up. Former President Goodluck Jonathan says Governor Jiri deserves a second term. And Kogi State prepares for free us governorship race to government house. I am Bola Oba, and this is Plus Politics. Former President Goodluck Jonathan has said that for the stability of Bison State, Governor Duye Dewey should be encouraged to complete a second term in office. Speaking at his Yenogua residence on Tuesday were members of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Bayasa, the National Governorship Campaign Council, alongside governors, former governors of the party and National Assembly members, and other stakeholders paid him a visit. The former Nigerian leader said he is in touch with Governor Dewey and his activities in the state. Let's take a listen. Pleased that we are here to conclude the campaign. I've, already, I've been in touch with uh, my governor from the beginning of uh, the uh, struggle, and I believe we should be encouraged to complete his uh, eight years. Testing that we let us have a standard way of doing things. We don't need to kill ourselves over positions. We will all stay there and live. I have I was there eight years here, eight years in Abuja, and back to my village, and my farm. So, <laughs> so we should uh, do that, and we don't want crisis. If we have this way of doing things properly, then the friction will be less. And then, uh, by the time we are trying to set up that, we are trying to push that. Even when I was in office, I remember I had a lot of conversation with Dixon then, and we must set up that and we must push it. And luckily, we also worked along that line. Joining us live is Dr. Rosalind Dressman, founder of Diaspora for Dewey, technical advisor on diaspora matters to the executive governor of Bayesa State. It's a pleasure having you uh, on Plus Politics. Good evening. Uh, looking at the activities in, in Bayelsa and the endorsement of the former president, Dr. Gulokibele Jonathan. Are you, is your camp uh, feeling in any way, shape, or form upbeat about the prospects of the governor being re elected on Saturday? We are very positive minded because um, we know that to bring Bayasa into stability, as the former president has rightly pointed out, um, Dewey has to come back again. Dewey has to come back for continuity. Dewey has to come back for that stability we need for different factors, different reasons he has to come back. And all Bayasa is behind Dewey. So come November 11, we are quite sure we will unanimously bring our governor back. And you think, uh, and you don't really think that the remark of the of the former president is quite uh, rich in platitude, more than more than exactitude. You know, like it's just playing to the gallery. He had he had the governor and the chieftains of the PDP guesting in his house, and he needed to say something positive to to at least make them feel good you don't feel so i wouldn't say that because uh, i know president good luck jonathan personally he's a man of very few words he doesn't mix his words if he doesn't feel like that he will definitely not say that he will pick other words to you know suit the situation but um, rightly said, the president just like hit the hammer at the top of the nail. We need continuity, so we need Diri to come back. Uh, and in a way, you know, a, a typical uh, mischief maker may want to interpret uh, that remark as a, a bit. Uh, why would why would it be only? Uh, Governor Duyedewi, 
that can uh, help Bayasa gain stability when ordinarily, ordinarily, uh, Bayasa is made up of, uh, you know, millions of, of, of Bayasans. Well, first of all, we have to observe the fact that before you will be voted for, you have to present yourself to be voted for. And the candidates we have right now, Diri is the best. So the caps fits in better. Uh, we have the uh, different candidates. We have at least 15 candidates, if not 16 candidates in the pool. So amongst them, we have about three serious uh, candidates to con candidates to contend, to contend with, and um, Jiri is the best amongst them. I can give you a few simple examples uh, to show you that we have our candidate. Uh, examples, and he is the right examples candidate such as position. examples. So yeah, let's quick, let's interrupt. Let's interrupt. <laughs> with that. A few example. One of the examples is that. Governor Dewey has uh, connected the three senatorial roles to Bayasa State. Not just the three senatorial roles he has connected, he has also done ample of things that, you know, are worth commendable. First of all, in order to trade, you need roads, you need connectivity of the roads. And Dewey has made that possible for us. So right now, we are able to trade. Bayasa State is not uh, an industrial state because we don't have industries however we have the opportunity to do proper trading now um the governor himself knowing that bayasa what bayasa needs he has offered a lot of ways and things to better the situation of bayasa we're talking about security we're talking about education we're talking about our health system we have the best health system in nigeria as of today because Diri has improved the policy that, you know, encapsulates uh, uh, this uh, health system. Uh, we have a very good educational system. If you look at the results from the, from WAEC, the last season, you will see that Bayasa is rated very high also. We are very good sportsmen from the beginning and improvement of policies, we even compete better. So everything we are doing with Diri, we even do it better. So that is why I think that he is a better candidate than all the others. Dewey does not dodge from the work. He doesn't say, okay, this uh, village or this town is not economically viable, so I will not develop it. Every town is economically viable, and Dewey has proven that. And given the fact that Bayelsa is actually one of the states of the Federation, where multidimensional poverty is reportedly by the National Bureau of Statistics said to be very pronounced, uh, it, it does not quite fit into uh, the, near, the near portraiture of El Dorado that you, you seem to have painted. Well, yeah, you're right. Um, you can imagine and you know as a Nigerian also, what Bayasa has been through. You know that we are oil-rich country, uh, uh, oil-rich state. We produce the oil, but we don't get it. Now they, they introduce the, a few percent of uh, derivation for states, which of course is very mega for us. But hey, we start where we can. We have had very hard luck with governors throughout several seasons. But right now, Bayasa is in luck with Governor Dewey. Let's take that and just hold to that. Okay, in almost four years of Governor Dewey's uh, tenure, um, Bayasa is said uh, reportedly, uh, it's been a while I've been in Yenugua, or it's been a while I've been in Bayasa personally, but uh, reportedly Bayasa is said to be cast into darkness. Uh, the light, you know, power supply in Yenogwa in the days that I used to visit, uh, it was a bit more stable. Uh, somebody was telling me now that barely can can one get uh, two to three hours of, of electricity supply in Yenogwa. What do you say? That to is that? exaggeration. That, that is exaggeration. Right now we're sitting here. You can confirm with your colleagues here. Uh, we have electricity. And we've had electricity through the day. 
So mischief makers will tell you stories. Of course, we don't have a perfect system of electricity. We're working on it. Um, there, before the came, I was in Bayasa too, and we had huge problems with electricity. And if you don't have electricity, you can't trade, you can't do business. So the first thing the governor did was to make sure that at least that is halfway stable. That is uh, what we call uh, work in progress. So we are not totally in darkness. We don't have a three hours light per day. We have more than that, and the town is definitely not in darkness. Uh, uh, a lot of places are complemented with solar energy for the benefit of the night, because electricity is quite expensive in the moment. You will also attest to it. With the rise of dollar, we don't have uh, uh, the, the right uh, uh, instruments to run electricity, and every state has the same issues. So I don't think that should come into a political discourse. I, I, I'm also, I'm also because at this juncture, uh, we still have the monolithic um, uh, national transmission entity. Uh, but I, I hope, I hope Governor Duri is one of those governors taking early enough initiatives to articulate and transform the new, uh, the new power, power act. The 2023 Electricity Act into domesticating it and making sure that it, it, it transforms the electric, uh, electricity network uh, infrastructure in Bayelsa. I hope so. Well, um, that's that's quite true because as a diaspora focal point officer, one of my main concern was electricity, and the governor made several trips getting investors to invest in electricity, but the federal policy was not friendly. So it became difficult for investors to just buy in. But right now that they have opened up that, we are very sure going to you know, take advantage of that, surely. If I may just ask, uh, were, you, were you once in the diaspora, how come you end that portfolio? Was it because you are a returnee? Is it because you are a returnee? I, or? I am not a returnee. Uh, so okay. I am in the diaspora. I actually live in Germany oh, you and Nigeria, Germany. both ways. And uh, I guess by the very standard of what you see in Germany, which which start do you live in Germany? Which city do you live in Germany? I live I live in a small village called Bergkamen. Okay, and I guess that is in the state of Northern Westphalia. Oh, Northern Westphalia. That's actually the most commercially powerful state in that's about the equivalent of Lagos in, in, in Lagos exactly. state in Germany. I, I, so I, I just wonder. I, I, I wonder, you know, if you use the things that you see there, if you use those things to encourage the quality of governance that you you see in your uh, natal or ancestral. State of Bayesa. We, we are doing what we can do. Um, there is no magic in it. You work slowly, we develop a lot of policies that matches the moment. When you have developed policies, um, they don't, from one minute to the other, fructify. You have to work on it, people have to get used to it. Mm. What the diaspora has done, very notably, is our contribution to the process of democracy in Bayasa State. And I think that other states can copy from us when it comes to that. Uh, Governor Diri gave the chance. We contributed very well. We did lots of sensitization programs so that we can be able to avoid violence during the elections. And apart from sensitization program, we offered a lot of educational program on democracy um, for the electorates. And then we are also involved in a lot of um, empowerment programs, which comes good for young people that are out of school or young uh, people that are out of jobs. What, what is this? What is this? Um... 
issue the governor is said to be having with uh, pensioners. Pensioners are said to be aggrieved and angry because they've not, uh, they don't feel that uh, he has uh, kept up well with them. Uh, don't you think that may affect his uh, prospect of being re-elected? Re you know that during election period, there are a lot of mischief makers. It will be very good to recall that uh, before Governor Diri came, pensioners are definitely not paid in the state. Some of them will hang out there trying to get a bit of money they have worked for and even collapse while waiting in a huge room. And Governor Diri has eased all that up. And I, I have not heard that pensioners are complaining. At least I, I am in the grassroots. I turn around the city every blessed day. And this is a new story I'm hearing that pensioners are complaining. I don't think so. Um, we, we, the government of Bayasa State is the highest employer of labor. Before even the month gets up to 25th, people have received their salaries. So cancel that discussion of pensioners. It doesn't exist. That's rumor. Uh, 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 and the security, the security situation at the moment, how is it? Uh, Bayasa, uh, uh, um, at least uh, on a positive note at this point, relative to the two other states, Imo and Kogi, where uh, off-cycle elections to be taking place. Bayesa seems at this juncture to be having some little positive... Uh, this, but having said that, uh, security is still an issue in Bayesa, isn't it? Well, yes, because of uh, having to make sure that we ensure the lives and properties of the electorate and security Securing them is from mischief makers. If it's about PDP and Doye Diri alone, there will be no problem at all. Bayasa is a very peaceful state. I think that in Nigeria, Bayasa can count as the most peaceful state. It's, it has also been internationally recommended that Bayasa is the most peaceful state in Nigeria. It's just because of the election, one or the other person props up to, you know, disrupt the peace we have here. But nonetheless, our NGO has called on the IG of police to, you know, intervene. And um, we had a very little, very minor, hardly mentionable issue. And intervention came, and peace has been restored in that part of the state again. I, I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to be caught arguing or disagreeing with the lady ever since I left my natal We, we can try, sir. No, no, I won't. I won't do. Uh, it, it's been a gentleman, too. I am, I'm also a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> but, having, but having said that, uh, at least one is a bit gladdened that at this particular round of gubernatorial elections in Bayesa, relative to the history of gubernatorial elections in the state, uh, this seems thus far to, to be somewhat relatively uh, peaceful. I just hope that the security agencies, from the police to the armed services, will not be losing their guards because uh, it's not over until it's over, they usually say. But we need to go to... Exactly. There's also this um, uh, untoward phenomenon of militancy. Is militancy a problem in any way, shape, or form in this round of elections? Um, not that I directly know of. Not that I directly know of. Even though the, our uh, contenders, uh, vice, uh, our contenders, uh, deputy governor uh, has been connected to this kind of activity you, you have so many uh, you have so many contenders my lady uh, so uh, uh, out of 15 contenders and 15 one uh, one of them one of them well, okay uh, and you don't want to mention been, you don't want to mention you know, one, of them, one of them i i can i'm not scared of mentioning names you know because it's true uh the candidate of apc 
His deputy has been connected to militancy. When Pedro came on board, the first thing he did was to improve on the security policies. And militancy is not such a huge problem for us right now. And I don't think also that before the elections it will be a huge problem. Um, we did, and I participated also, thanks God. I'm very rich on experience right now. We did a whole tour of Bayasa State, from all the creeks to every town, and nobody is complaining about militancy in the moment. Actually, Bayasa is relatively safe. My fear is what will happen after the election. But thanks God, I am quite convinced that Governor Diri will be returned back. So the thing about security, we will continue to enjoy it. And the fact that Bayasa is a peculiar, peculiar uh, geographical terrain, uh, geographical, you know, uh, being a state that is sprawling on a body, uh, on a major body of water. I just wonder what it will take logistically to, to campaign across the eight local government areas. I guess you people have eight local government areas in in, in Bayasa. And we, the, the yes, sprawl, we do have eight local governments, yeah. They sprawl expansively over the Atlantic Ocean, isn't it? That's true. And have you guys touched every every nook and cranny all the all the local government areas? Yes, we did. We made a complete tour of the state and we touched everywhere and uh, the result is that Diri is loved. Even before the elections, Diri knows his state and his state knows him. Um, Diri is not a first timer when we talk about politics. He had been the secretary to the IYC in those days. It was through their effort that NDDC was you know formed for example so he knows he knows Bayasa very well and he didn't spare any time he visited everybody talked with everybody last with everybody and um yeah okay it, uh, it's not a cheap thing to go to the rivers but we did uh, anyway, like you already said, his antecedents politically is quite. Uh, he was a member of the House of Representatives. He was a member of the Senate. Indeed, he, he fortunately, through the grace of the Supreme Court, earned the governorship seat uh, from as a as a sitting senator. Uh, but um, having said that, uh, Dr. Rosalind Dressman, we really have to go. Uh, I will really have to wrap it up at this point. How would you want to end? How would you, you know, want to wrap this up? Well, I would want to advise the electorate to go home. They should not worry. They should not be scared. Everywhere is secured. Nobody should make them uncomfortable. They should go home and vote and vote for their candidates. And um, by the grace of God, we will all have to celebrate because we will bring back Governor Doyediri and security will continue to reign in Bayasa State. And, uh, you know, all the projects that the governor has initiated, he will complete them and the electorate, the citizenry, will benefit from it. So any Bayasa that is listening to me right now, please go home. Wherever you have registered, where your town is, your ward, your unit, Go and vote. What is very important right now is your vote. Your vote is very important for the democratic process to, you know, endure. Dr. Rosalind Dressman, thank you so much. Uh, I, you know, the etiquette of, of journalism is restraining me from speaking, to, from signing off in German with you. But never mind. Well, <laughs> I will be glad to talk to you in German. <laughs> because I studied in Germany and I speak German very fluently. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome, yes. sir. Thank you so much. We're going to a short break and when we're back, we take on more on the program.